Hey guys, Trigger Happy John coming at you with another near reincarnation video. So on today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the arena. So I've been wanting to do the video on the arena. I've been waiting as much as I could until it actually dropped. That way I could actually experience it a little bit and kind of get a, a decent idea of what to expect and what to kind of progress towards. So today on stream, um, so I'm recording this at about 11.30 p.m. I guess got done streaming at about, ah, about 10, 10, 10.30 or so. Um, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv, John. Come follow me uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 8 p.m. EST. Saturday around 10 or 11 a.m. EST. I stream. I try to stream for about two to three hours usually. But uh, earlier before Arena started, we, we did a companion breakdown. We broke down what companions to have. I got my loadouts fixed up. Um, arena dropped. I I got off stream. I didn't want to do uh, the arena on stream mainly because I wanted to like take time to kind of figure out what's going on and kind of see what I was seeing and you know just kind of enjoy it. Um, not so much of the like the I don't know the banter that's going to come with it. Um, so as you can see here from my own display, I'm on an 11 win streak. I mean it's really easy. Arena just literally dropped, guys. So it's gonna be like it's gonna be I, I would give it like a week before things like before ranking is actually start settling. Uh because there's gonna be a lot of people that farm all night long to get uh to to the number one spot. Um I would highly, highly recommend you pay attention and make sure that you have all the um the BP that you can have to really progress um and i would definitely make sure that you do that um if not what's going to happen is is you're going to kind of just slide backwards uh it's not necessarily the most rewarding to be number one in the world we're going to go into that here in just a second but it's definitely worth it just take your time kind of enjoy it learn a little bit the point of this video is going to be literally just a breakdown of okay what's the state in the arena and what you should be focusing on all right, so like I said, uh, we're going to be breaking it down. We're going to kind of tell you what to be focusing on, what, what the risk versus reward is. I'm going to start off by uh, actually explaining what the rewards are for uh, doing the arena. So if we come into rewards, right, this this literally tells you where you're currently at um, as far as like where your win, your loss rate is, your, your defense win rate. Um, it pretty much just breaks down where you are at within the arena for the uh, the time period before reset. So you will notice that I've only done 11 fights because, well, it just dropped. Uh, it's been live for about 34 minutes now, so I've done 11 fights. I'm ranked 2600th in the world. Uh, I, I expect to wake up and be lower than this for sure. Um, here's my arena points so far. My defense, I've only been attacked once. I won. Um, right now, I am within this tier. So you'll notice that uh, my arena points are 18 for. 408 uh the next tier you can kind of see on the left hand side how it goes like you got like uncommon common um gold so on and so forth i'm not sure what the labeling that they're really going to use for this but then as you go up here you can see like the purple prisms and so on and so forth and you can kind of see what the rewards are like area arena coins so on and so forth i'm not sure if this is going to be like a daily payout for where you're at in the arena i certainly hope so because if not i'm going to be really disappointed if this is literally like part of the weekly uh weekly rewards here but uh if you go into weekly rewards right um which is why i think that one i think this one would be more like daily versus weekly because i mean they're the the rewards aren't that great even all the way up to the top but if you go into weekly rewards here, you can see that, okay, this qualifies me for a, uh, you know, an item that recovers 50% BP, because now we're using BP for our arena, and 50 arena coins, so on and so forth. So if I finish within this 1800 mark, this is what I'm going to get. Seems seems okay. I mean, it's not the greatest, but I'm sure as, like, it progresses, maybe they'll, they'll change it. But honestly, like, even when you go all the way up here to... Like, let's say you somehow managed to pull off 46,000 arena points. Um, that's literally three times as much as what I have right now. This is all you're going to get. Uh, that's kind of depressing, to be honest. Like, I'm really bummed out about these arena rewards. I don't think these are worth, well, any of the effort, to be honest. But it's arena. Uh, nonetheless, PvP content is a lot of fun, so... Yeah, I mean, grind it. Go for it. Uh, I wouldn't worry about trying to go all the way up here because the rewards just aren't there. Um, even if you go up into the ranking rewards, guys, and that's kind of... I looked at this beforehand. 
Um, once again, I don't know when these are going to get paid out. So I do apologize because I'm making this video now. I'll make another arena one once we've actually completed like a month of arena and kind of do like a rehash of like, okay, well, here's what I said at the beginning. And this is what I figured out after the month end. Um, so I do apologize if I'm off this off the mark on this at all. And I, I don't, I'm not trying to mislead you if I am off. But like right now I'm at the um, rank 1001 through 5000. I'm, I'm guessing again, this is kind of going to fall into the weekly, maybe even monthly area. Um, and if you go all the way up here to the top, so if you're ranked in the top three, top three seems to be the biggest payout. Top one in the world i mean you're getting you're getting 10 premium tickets you're getting um you're getting okay so you're getting 10 30 um 33 and then a guaranteed plus a thousand tickets okay so number one in the world that's a pretty good reward to be honest i mean that's like what uh two three ten pulls Plus a guaranteed, plus a three that are three plus, which usually are about three anyway. So they're usually just gold units. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. Then you drop down and you go, okay, second and third. You're getting 30, 30 pulls. Okay, 33 pulls. Not terrible, not terrible. Even down to the top 10 in the world, you're getting 30 pulls. Awesome. Uh, top 50 in the world, still the 30 pulls. Okay, I like it. Top 100 uh you're getting away from the 30 pulls now you're at 25 all the way to 500 you're at 20 all the way to a thousand you're at a free 10 pull okay so here's the goal guys um i i don't i don't mind this uh i don't know when this gets paid out though this is the problem um if this got paid out weekly then honestly it's perfect um that is a very good rewarding like that pushes people to spend and play the arena However, if this reward isn't based upon like a weekly refresh, uh, bi-weekly, like if this is legit monthly reward payout, it's shit. And I hate to say it because I love this game and they do a lot for us as far as like making sure that, you know, we get a lot of free resources for this game and it's amazing compared to a lot of other games. But if this is literally a monthly payout, it's shit. Foot point blank, I'm not happy. Uh, however, if this is a weekly payout, this is amazing. Um, I mean, if this is literally every Sunday a reset to push for this, you're going to see a lot of people push and try to make that top spot. Um, at least top 10, for sure. Top 10, amazing rewards. Uh, it starts to fall off a little bit uh, once you get down here, but even at 1,000, like top 1,000 in the world, that's that's really, really good. I mean, at least you get a full free 10 pool. Um, if you can make top 500, that's even better. And you get, you get a free or 20 pool, right? Uh, it's, granted, it's not going to be free. You're going to be spending resources in game, so on and so forth. Make sure you hit your guys' arena battles every day, all throughout the day. Um, you will notice that, um, if I bump out of here, right guys, uh, if I go into here, you'll see streak bonus, win streak 11, HP up by 15%, attack up by 15%, level five. Um, so that means like every two levels it incremented up for me, right? Um and that's fine. It's um that's pretty normal to be to be honest. Like uh a lot of games I played, like I come from a background of playing like um Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. They did a very, very similar arena style, only they actually restricted a couple of skills in the arena. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Arena PvP and uh, FFBE was amazing until they came out with the new Neo units, and that's when I quit playing that game. Um, Raid Shadow Legends does a top top X amount of players for Platinum Arena. I think that's a waste of time, and honestly, I, I hate the way they structured it. So, um, but you don't get a you you get a little bit of a boost, but not nearly like as much of a boost. Like literally, I'm on an 11 uh, win streak, but I'm at plus 15% attack and HP. Like that's pretty good. Uh, so make sure that you're, you're, you're being smart about this. Like don't go in half cocked thinking, okay, I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to blast through everybody and I'm going to pick the highest, strongest guy to get because they're going to have the best payout. Well, I mean, you, you're there to a point, right? To a fault. You're not necessarily wrong. You do get a different payout for the uh, the amount of force that you're taking on, but it's not the best best idea to go in there and get a loss. Um, be smart about it. Take your time. Look it up. 
and figure it out. I mean, you literally have 100 VP here. Like I said, it just went live. Uh, it's been live now for 41 minutes. I cleared it out right as soon as it went live. I'm already back up to 17 here. And yeah, guys, it's not um, it's not that deep. Take your time. Don't rush it. Uh, as soon as you start rushing it, that's when you're going to regret it. Um, I'm telling you that right now, you're going to spend a lot of your points and you're going to regret it. Um, another thing I want to point out here is the exchange, guys. So, And this is why I say take your time. So you will see that this refreshes at 0, 0,100 PST on Monday. So that means every week this will refresh. Um, you have your Black Pearl, which is your Weapon of Centrals. You have your Polycrystal, your Zenith, and your Supreme Adoration. This is going to be for your, your Dark Weapons. This is going to be really, honestly, like, if I were to advise you guys on saving up your arena stuff, it's going to be for two things. It's going to be priority one, Black Pearls. If you're really struggling on Weapon Ascensions and you're not able to pull them, I would wait until your banners are gone and you're no longer eligible to get the weapons that you want to ascend. Then I would worry about black pearls for those weapons. So when I, when I say that, I mean like the A2 banner. It's going to be ending in nine days. Okay, so A2 to be um or B yeah to be two P oh god or B2 oh, I'm getting all confused nine S all those guys they're going to be ending on the ninth uh, as well as the other banners guys they're going to be ending very shortly. I mean save your black pearls for those units weapons. Uh, you're not going to be able to summon them again. You're not going to get those weapons. They're not going to be in the kitty, and they're not going to be in the pool. So save your Black Pearls for those in case you don't max them out. That's what I mean. So that's why I'm saying Arena Tokens, I would definitely advise that you hold on to them. I would at least save the 1500 just in case you really need a Black Pearl, or you really need a Zenith's Brilliance for the Dark Weapon. Um, even then, I would say this is almost always a no and get this and then reset every time that's what i would recommend because yeah you do need these but you can farm these you cannot farm black pearls these are insanely hard to get yes i get that you don't need to tell me um but at the same time it is possible to farm them whereas black pearls are not they're unfarmable so that's where i would say um what you should save your arena token rewards for just 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 Food for thought, my, my two cents on it. Uh, the next thing we're going to go into is your defense settings. So as you can see here, I have my total force as set as my uh, defense. Uh, I'm just trying to give this a go, to be honest. I don't have anything particular that I'm really looking for yet. But um, as I keep playing the arena and I kind of figure out what the meta is, what everyone's using, um, once it actually straightens itself out, I imagine it's going to take two to three days for this to straighten itself out. And then everybody will be like in a line. They'll have, they'll have the, the units they're going to use. They'll have the weapons they're going to use. Um, we'll get the straightened ladder of like, okay, this is who's first in the world. Who's not so on and so forth. And then, then I'll make another video on like, okay, this is what we're going to get. Um, but yeah, for now it's kind of like, meh, I'm going to, I'm going to go with my highest, uh, highest force and call it a good, uh, call it good. As you can see here, I've already won against someone who's 89,000 with my current loadout. They had a good loadout. They had A2, 2P, and Noel. That is a very, very good lineup for sure. Um, as you can see here, they already have 228 um, uh, medals. So that's awesome. They, they've they really been going for it. Uh, which is like your... Well, I guess... It, I shouldn't say that. That's their arena points. But it's still, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, they're going for it. They're doing good. I don't know why they would hit someone who's at 100K. Myself, I wouldn't go for the easiest one, guys. Go into battle here. As you can see, pick the lowest one. For example, I got this guy right here. It's going to take me uh, more resources. It, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not as much resources as possible, but it's not the lowest as possible. But yeah, I would just literally go for, hey, A, B, right? Point A, point B, get to there. I mean, I call that beater with a heater. And for 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 poor folk like me uh, who, who have a spare vehicle to get us to and from our job, um, I would highly recommend it so that way you can keep your skill going. Uh, you don't want to lose your bonus. Uh, as you can see here, it was an easy win for me. I did literally nothing. My auto attacks won. 
because my team is set up to do as much damage as possible on their auto attacks currently. I will do more and more and more videos on arena and on loadout setting like formations and whatnot once I get uh, once I get a little bit more experience. I don't really want to do a video now on it because I don't like, I don't have that experience yet. Like I haven't actually fought someone that I had to try on. Um, I have a good idea. I have a good lineup as to what I think is going to have. Like I've done done some theory crafting. I've looked at some JP records, and um, but until I can actually do it for myself, I don't want to say like, "Hey, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do," uh, because I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong wrong direction. As you can see here, this everything's still shaking out. Uh, rank number one in the world right now is uh, this Brandon guy. And he's at 30, like 32K force. So as you can see here, it's going to take a while before this really, really shakes out. So as, as I'm scrolling down here, you guys can kind of kind of see even like top 100 in the world hasn't really played. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Now they've got. You can see you can see all of their their stats here. Player level one, total force, yada yada yada. Um, it's literally a brand new account, so on and so forth. Like you can see, you can click on it, you can see what their loadouts are gonna be. That's the coolest thing is like because like for my, for example, right? Like right now I'm ranked 26, 2600 in the world. You can come over here, you see my total force, you can click on me. And you can see exactly what I have going on. You can see greed, zeal, or vice, right? Um, you see my current rank. You can see all of my weapon types collected, so on and so forth. That's the nice thing about this is you can really go in there and you can see like, okay, this number, this guy has like the number one, number two, yeah, da, 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 da. what are they using? What is going to be their meta? And you can come in here and you can click on them and you can find out at least what the main weapon they're using and their characters. Um, that to me is awesome. A lot of games don't don't allow you to do this. They'll give you the name, but they won't give you like the stats. They won't give you uh, like weapons. They won't give you that kind of information. And just by giving us this main character, which obviously we can tell because of the animation right here, right? Um, but giving us the main weapon here makes a big difference because you can guess from there, right? You can guess from there, like, how, okay, how would they have this total force? How would they not have this total force? Um, and then you can see, okay, how much have they grinded? Have they grinded a lot? Have they not? You know, so on and so forth. Um, I think it makes a difference, honestly, guys. And I really like how they structured this. Um, we'll see as time like time goes, like, what's going to be the uh, the go-to for Arena. But as of right now, um, I'm really loving my loadout. I haven't made a challenge yet, so don't quote me on it. But I'm thinking A2, 2P, and Gale is going to be a really, really good starting lineup. I know a lot of content creators are using them as well. But we'll see. There's a lot of other good units out there. You got Griffs. Don't forget about the Griffs. You got the uh, the newest Griff, the Water Griff. Uh, you also have Noel, who's amazing for light damage. Uh, you have so many options right now. I will do another video later this week talking about the different options as far as DPS goes. But for now, guys, I just wanted to literally go over like, hey, Arena's live. Here's what I did. Here's what I figured out so far. I will release a lot more videos on Arena because I'm super excited for PvP. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace.